Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, uh, MRIs confirmed that Aaron Rodgers, Jets quarterback, has a torn Achilles and will be out for the season. This is what the Jets feared last night. And I mean, I mean, any Achilles injury is going to be terrible. Um, and this one's pretty much one of the worst ones with tearing his Achilles. Uh, for Aaron Rodgers, this is, his season's over. Anybody who tears their Achilles, is, their season's going to be over. And you know, yesterday was his Jets debut, and it was going to be a great first game Monday Night Football. Even though Rodgers got hurt on the on the on the fourth play of Jets offense, this was still the most viewers a Monday Night Football game has had uh, since two thousand six, when Monday Night Football um, went on. You know, started going on ESPN when when Monday Night Football joined on ESPN. That's the most viewers. Um, and that, and that, that was in 2006. That's when ESPN um, uh, first got Monday Night Football. And that was in 2006. And that was the most viewers. You know, that's the most viewers they've had on a Monday Night Football game since 2006. It's been uh, 17 years. And Aaron Rodgers, you know, you know, didn't even complete a pass. Threw one pass, incomplete pass. Um was sacked on the other they were they ran up i think they ran two plays they um they ran the ball twice and he was um he was sacked he threw an incompletion and they ran the ball twice one was to Brees hall had a big 25 yard run uh but this was tough i mean got sacked by leonard floyd on a play where rogers landed weirdly on his achilles and now aaron Rodgers is going to be out for the season and who knows, this could be out. This could be the end of Aaron Rodgers. Uh, a lot of people are saying that this won't be, and this is, you know, you're going to see Aaron Rodgers again. A uh, close friend of Rodgers, Pat McAfee, who was a uh, punter for the Colts and, you know, was, you know, had a lot of success since retiring and with, you know, with ESPN and his show um, and has Rodgers on every Tuesday for his for his show said that he doesn't think this will be the end of Aaron Rodgers, that we'll see him again next year, that he's not going to end his career like this. I very well could agree with Pat McAfee there. I think that um, for, for you know, for you know to see Aaron Rodgers end his career like that, I mean, um, I, I don't think he would want to end his career like that. I mean, I'm not saying he's going to want to end his career by winning a Super Bowl, which honestly I think could have happened if he would have stayed healthy this season. This Jets team, I think, would have been one of the favorites to make it to this, potentially make it to the Super Bowl. I mean, look how they looked last night with Zach Wilson as the quarterback. Uh, they beat the Bills twenty-two to sixteen. Imagine um, how good they would be with Aaron Rodgers as their quarterback, who's way better than Zach Wilson. So, um, yeah, I think I don't know if the super, if if you know, if, if a Super Bowl win is in Rodgers, you know. You know, is if that's what he's chasing next year when he comes back, it's going to be different. He's going to be a year older. He's going to be forty years old next season when next season starts. Not only is he going to be forty years old next season, but he's also going to be recovered from a Achilles injury. So that might be difficult for Rodgers. And not only that, but I mean, um, there's just so many things that they're going to go into it rehab, and I think it's going to be interesting to see if Aaron Rodgers is ready to go next year. Um. What should the Jets do at quarterback, though? Do you keep Zach Wilson? Robert Sala, head coach for the Jets, says he's their guy. I don't know. Um, I wouldn't be, be surprised if they brought in a veteran quarterback to back up for Zach Wilson. Um, thinking of guys like Joe Flacco, Carson Wentz. Um, those are two that really the free. I know they have reached out to Chad Henney, who was the backup quarterback for the Chiefs last year. Um I don't think that's going to happen. He already retired. I'm thinking about Matt Ryan. And that's really that's pretty much it in the free agency market. Maybe even Nick Foles as well. Um, so guys like Carson Wentz, Nick Foles, Chad Henney, maybe Matt Ryan, um, and even Joe Flacco, who also played for the Jets last year, started in two games last season. So th- those are those are three guys I'd be thinking. I, actually, I think he started in three games last year for the Jets. But those are three guys right there. Or five guys that right there that I'd I'd be thinking about the Jets bringing in for free agency veteran guys. I know Colin Kaepernick said he's interested in the Jets. I don't know if I see that happening, but we'll see. As a trade market, guys, I mean, 
Uh, I think just some of these names right here depends on if their teams are willing to let them go. I think Case Keenum from the Houston Texans, uh, another guy, Jacoby Brissett from the Commanders. Look how good he did last year for the Cleveland Browns while stepping up while Deshaun Watson was suspended. I think he's an option. Jameis Winston of the Saints. Um, and I think there's probably other options in, in the trade market with quarterback with quarterbacks. I think there's probably are a couple other options um, at that quarterback position with the trade market. Um, I mean, who knows? I mean, look at the Dallas Cowboys situation right now. They have three quarterbacks with, you know, Dak Prescott, Trey Lance, and Cooper Cup. I mean, not Cooper Cup, Cooper Rush. I don't think after, you know, you just saw them trade for Trey Lance, I don't think, you know, they'll trade Trey Lance. I've heard some people say, oh, the you know, the Jets are going to trade for Trey Lance. But here's another guy on this Cowboys roster that I'd be looking at if, if you know, if you're the New York Jets. Um, maybe Cooper Rush. Look how he stepped up last year while Dak Prescott was hurt. You know, he was a good, reliable starter from, I think, I think Dak was hurt for like four or six weeks. It was four to six weeks. I think Dak was injured last year. And Cooper Rush stepped up and was a great quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys last year. Uh, maybe he could be an option uh, for a trade for for a trade for the Jets. But um, if I'm the Jets, I'd be looking for a mobile quarterback if you're trying to bring in a quarterback uh, that can, you know, get out of pressure because this Jets offensive line is terrible, and you saw it early on with Aaron Rodgers. You even saw it when Zach Wilson was in the game. They need someone who's a mobile quarterback that can get out of pressure. And two guys, I already mentioned Jacoby Prissett and Jameis Winston are two quarterbacks who are really good mobile quarterbacks and can get out of pressure. Um, so honestly... You know, they have a couple fourth round picks. They have a third a third round pick. If you have to trade a third and a fourth round pick to the commanders uh, to get Jacoby Brissett, because the, the, you know, definitely it is possible the commanders will not want to get rid of Jacoby Brissett. So if you have to give up a third and a fourth, which I know that's definitely overpricing, uh, I think Jacoby Brissett for the Jets would definitely be way better than having Zach Wilson. But the Jets believe in Zach Wilson. He, they say he's their guy. Um, so, I mean, we'll see what happens with the quarterback situation with the New York Jets. I think it'll be an interesting situation to unfold. After all the money they spent this offseason on offense and defense, to have Zach Wilson as their quarterback and probably win in the area of six to eight wins, that's a disappointing season for the Jets. So, Add in a if you can add in a quarterback that's gonna be, you know it's gonna be definitely better quarterback play with someone like Jacoby Brissett or even potentially I'm just gonna throw his name out there Tom Brady uh, definitely would be a great idea for the New York Jets instead of having Zach Wilson as the quarterback for the regular season. But here's what I would do. I know this might cost you a loss. You I mean honestly I, I don't think it, I don't think it matters who you bring in week two. I, I think you could sign Tom Brady before this week to match up against the Dallas Cowboys and you're still gonna lose. I'm sorry. Um it doesn't matter who you who you play at quarterback week two against the Dallas Cowboys, um, you're still gonna lose. So play Zach Wilson, start Zach Wilson this upcoming week Sunday, see what he does. If you don't like what he what he, what you see from him, Bring in another quarterback to you know be the backup or even the starter for that matter, and see what you have for the rest of the season. You guys let me know your thoughts on Aaron Rodgers being out for the season with the torn Achilles, and what you think the Jets should do at quarterback for the rest of the season. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.